protesters standing outside the Stampede grounds, rallying against what's happening inside. Rodeo supporters say they love their animals. Anyone who actually loves another wouldn't risk their life or their body for a prize or for profit. Animal activists say the rodeo is outdated and unnecessary, saying this is an example of why. Night 7 of the Rangeland Derby and another incident involving horses. In Heat 3, John Walter's outfit jumped up against the infield fence, a lead horse injured, Stampede officials saying it suffered a small cut. A relatively minor injury compared to the suspected heart attack, broken leg and collision that have claimed the lives of three chuck wagon horses so far at this year's Stampede. Still, the Stampede says it's doing all it can to keep the animals safe. We know that when those horses go out on the track that they have had full veterinary inspections when they arrive here at Stampede Park uh, each night before they race. So we know that we have done everything we can to ensure their health and safety as they head out onto the track. While these activists strongly disagree, Stampede goers have mixed feelings about the sport. I really just don't think they understand what rodeo is about. And, uh anything to do with it so I think they're kind of out of line. I, I'm super unbiased I mean I, I don't care that these people are out here protesting I don't care that those people are inside are protesting. I think I'm glad to see that this side of you know the rodeo and everything is being voiced. Chuck's dead, Chuck's. Those demanding changes say they want the ban to go beyond the rodeo. Any animals that are being used for our purposes uh, haven't given us our, their consent to be used and so we're against that kind of animal exploitation.